As you know, when we film, the more I drink, the better it gets. First ingredient, wine. Cheers. I'm Mayhem Loren, and today we're making shrimp and grits. About two years ago, I was in Jacksonville, Florida. I don't really want to get into why, but I was there. I was on a secret mission, and I met a gentleman who represented one half of what he referred to as the Brooks Brothers. He was a fan, he knew of the music, he knew of the show, and he insisted on cooking me the best shrimp and grits literally I've ever had in my life, and proceeded to cook shrimp and grits on a grill in the middle of the street in Jacksonville. I can't make this up. I wrote down the recipe, and here we are now, duplicating the Brooks Brothers recipe. Let's get started. So we have two cups of milk, then I'm gonna add two cups of water. Why is this water going out so slow? What's up with the water pressure in the building? We'll let that heat up. The thing about grits is, it may seem like a simple thing to cook, but it actually takes a lot of concentration and a lot of constant attention. It's like having a child. If you turn your head for a minute, or you stop caring and nurturing the grits, they'll get stuck to the bottom of the pan. Next thing you know, your grits will be burned. Shrimp and grits will be ruined. No one will ever come to you for shrimp and grits again. Ever. I dropped the grits in two cups of milk and two cups of water at an amazing boil. I'm gonna stir for approximately 30 more seconds and I'm gonna bring the temperature down. The key to cooking grits right is cooking grits slow. You can't just get in bed with the grits. You have to court the grits. You have to go on a couple dates. You have to hold hands. You have to find out favorite colors, wants, needs. Likes and dislikes, then you can have the grits. I actually think this needs more milk and or water. So it was thickening too quick, it was just, it wasn't right. I have an eye for this. The camera's in front of me for a reason. We'll take a pinch of salt. The black man's kryptonite. Be careful with salt, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna add some butter to this now. Only one stick. We're being moderate with butter. No more than a stick, that's all you need. This looks good, this is getting a good texture to it. It may need another splash of water or milk. I'll see, I, I'll see what this butter does first. Here's my theory on milk. If you're gonna use milk, use whole milk. If you're gonna go bad, be bad all the way. Don't commit a misdemeanor, commit a felony and really try to get that money. Whole milk. We have the right texture. And now we'll start these shrimp. Put a little light seasoning on these. Take one more, one more kryptonite pinch. This is simple, just salt and pepper. No more, no less. That wasn't part of the plan. That was me improvising. A little grape seed. I just like to make things easy for myself. Add a little more cracked pepper to the top. A little kryptonite. 2019, a little kryptonite, a little cryptocurrency, a little everything, you know? You ready for glass number two? I can't drink alone. Like I said before, it's not a problem if you have a binge buddy. If I was in here drinking alone, there'd be an issue. I'm just gonna rinse this, because if I was at home, I'd only use one utensil, so I'm not gonna start acting different here because I'm in the test kitchen. We're gonna use a moderate amount of garlic. So to me, that's about four cloves. It's an ancient technique. I'm not gonna claim um, that I invented it, but I've definitely helped popularize it. I'm not into taking credit for things I didn't do. To be honest, I don't even want credit for the things I do do. I'm just trying to live and enjoy life. I don't need props. Keep that. Now, usually you use the jalapeno in this recipe, but I got hungry in between segments and I ate it. What is this here? What is this, a Calabrian? What is it? A red pepper. A red pepper. As long as it's hot, things will work out. Oh, look, there's shrimp. I'm gonna squeeze the shell off of each of these because who really wants to tell when you, you know, you just wanna, Stick in your grits and eat the whole shrimp. A little Worcestershire sauce. 
Just a little. A little Tabasco. Just a little. Sherry wine. Just a little. Ketchup. And I'm not a big fan of ketchup as a condiment. Sometimes recipes call for ketchup and who am I to go against the grain? You know what, I don't want to diss ketchup because so many people like ketchup, so I walk around alone a lot, you know. I don't want to have to beat up five people at the same time, so I'll just be cool and avoid the situation. For them, not for me. Add a little more black pepper to it. Fresh lemon. Probably a couple lemon seeds in there. Disregard that. Try not to eat them. You'll grow a lemon tree in your little stomach if you eat them. Oh yeah, the shrimp. Splash! Remember that? People sh always try to lure me with shrimp. Like, hey, Mayhem, I have shrimp. Like, yo, know, I'm just gonna walk into your cab now, or where'd you got shrimp? I gotta go to your house, like, you know? But then again, here I am cooking shrimp once more, so. I'm just glad people say anything. At the end of the day, yo, it's, it's, it's cool to be in a position where I can affect people and make people want to invite me to their house for shrimp. Even though I'm probably going to say no, it's still cool to be in someone's heart to make them want to want to feed me. Because, yo, at the end of the day, food is the key to the, the heart. The stomach is the key to the soul. So the fact you're trying to lure me and take my soul via shrimp, that's real. Again, notice, one fork. One fork is all you need. Let them tan, let them get a little suntan, then flip them. These are practically done. This whole meal's practically done. Oh yeah. Oh, they're ready to be cheesed. I don't think cheese was part of the initial recipe either. But again, we're here improvising. That's, that's old stuff, man. Rules were meant to be broken. I don't care about the books you used to read. This is the new edition, right? This is the New Testament, dog. We do see food and cheese. It's the New Testament. And we also do white cheddar and yellow cheddar. Why? Because yellow five is delicious. That's the New Testament right there. And then we have some crumbles too that didn't get shredded accordingly, but I bet you they'll melt. Wow, these look amazing. You cook it slow, you add a little moisture, a little shrimp juice, a little onion sweat with a little shrimp cologne. That sounds crazy, right? <laughs> We'll add more black pepper. Oh, look at look at this cheese and these grits becoming one. Y'all believe we're ready to serve at this point. One, two, three. Remember those old Tootsie Pop commercials? That was the owl, right? The owl was talking like that. Who gave the owl a voice like that? I want one more on top. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have a bowl of success. Anybody want to try? That's tell, bomb. Tell them how you feel. In, in three words, describe how you feel. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> we got it. There we have it. Shrimp, grits, and wine. And love, and colors, and energy, sunlight, emotion, fire, water, wind. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying at this point, yo. Shrimp and grits, Mayhem Loren, we out here. Shout out to the Brooks Brothers. For the recipe, click the link below.